You must say yes Nothing where you can tell them Something they hungry am. You must scratch this, scratch you Body no one do When your body calling Must say yes Nothing where you can tell them Something they hungry am. You must scratch this, scratch you Body no one do This is not a prayer matter No matter how you pray If you know self to nobody Wahala go day You need some ro 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 Some romance Some ta 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 Some touching Anyhow we be body no one do When body calling No, she said none of those ones You can't use any of these ones for your white wedding So the event planner said I have to pick a set And then return the rest to the seller no, she said don't look towards this way. All these ones are for traditional ways. Between boot pearls. Pick one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. This one? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I like this. Why? It's beautiful. See, it's a just drop. My neckline? Mm -hmm. No, nothing. You don't need to wear anything. My neck? The wow. rainy style now. Don't need to be into just keep your neck like that. Why can't I get my eyes off this set? No, I don't like that one. I think I prefer this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, Bia, start packing these things. I'm going to return them. Ah, uh, are we returning all these things? No, we'll keep them. Hey. The event planner said we have to return all these things to the vendor who will pick the one we want. You keep them. Hey! Hi, girls. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Fine, sir. Is it telling me good to Oh, okay, sure. Thanks for late. Um, yes, we are. I was just trying to pick up jewelry. The event owner said I have to pick the one I want and return the rest, sir. Which do you think? I'm confused. Um, I think um, this is nice. The silver. No, no, no. The silver or the gold. No, those. No, the pearls. Mm -hmm. I think you go for the big one. <gasps> whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> that's because that's the same one I picked. Funny enough, Sandra thought that was the best one too. Oh really? And now you agree. So mm -hmm. this is nice. Yes, sir. So we good to go? Yeah, that's okay. all. She'll cut them all. Okay. No, I can put them inside the pouch. I have your bag. Uh oh! oh. <gasps> Wait. She caught it. A pound? Wait. Sandra! Oh, whatever it is. Oh, yes, there you go. So, who's we'll on the pouch? She'll get it for me. It's okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. to be crowned queen of my heart so from now onwards i got the door for you okay so here we go i like it <laughs> that's my queen <laughs> you are so beautiful oh, thank you damn <laughs> so beautiful the queen of my heart
baby, let me go get something inside. No, I'm going with you. I'm spending the night here. My love, have you forgotten what we agreed on? No, I haven't forgotten, but I miss you. I just wanted to spend time with you. I'll just lie down here, nothing. I know, but... <sighs> Come on, baby. It's three days away, all right? I miss you too, but I just want us to be, you know, just hold on a little bit. After the wedding, we have all the time to ourselves. Okay. Hey. Thank God for giving me a God-fearing man, romantic, who doesn't want to do anything until our wedding night. Awesome, right? You're ready now. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, careful. Miss me much. Walk it. <laughs> Hurry up. something. Have you forgotten to add something at the fast food? Well, maybe I didn't want you to leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was nice. Thank you. You're welcome. I really have to run along. I'll see you off again. Don't worry. I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much. I feel like leaving, but I have to. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Take care of you. Thank you. My regards to your sister. Ah, uh, she'll get it. <laughs> tell you is that Uchechi will be staying with you. Why do you look surprised? You can't possibly think we'll leave him in the village to rot. Do you? No. Good. So I already told him to pack all his things when he's coming for the wedding with He should come with all his things. So immediately after the wedding he moves in with you. Why are you looking like that? Sandy, we have a brother who's rotting in the village. He needs to come to the city and hustle, earn a living so he can save for his future. That's a good idea, right? Yes, but sister, who will be paying for the rent? That until I am certain that both of you are capable of paying for it, then I'll stop. Thank you very much, sister. Thank you. And um, let me go and prepare. For what? Um, choir, all night choir areas. Again? Hey, sister, we have this one month music concert. Uh, so, uh, choir director now fixed a uh, one month all night rehearsal for us so that we can win. Okay. Well, I mean, your, your 
commitment to the things of God is quite encouraging, so you should keep it up. Thank you, sister. And let me come keep that. Okay. Sister, you should know me by now. I do, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you are in bliss. Uh huh. Nothing wrong with food. Um, no, uh, don't don't get your shoulder close there. Don't, hey. don't get your shoulder close there. If you I, want to be in bliss, <laughs> not on another man's wedding day. Exactly. With our pleasure, as Her Majesty, please. <laughs> All right, bro. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. Okay. Be careful. Back, man. Yeah. So, the real G. <laughs> Happy for you. Alright, bye. 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 Rosie. Say. Ah. <laughs> oh, I am so tired. I need a hot bath. You talked about here. <laughs> you love it? I do. It's beautiful. I made sure I got the best. Yeah, you did. Congrats <laughs> to all us. Thank you. Going so hot, I feel like a hot shower. That's right. Okay, my job now. Let's go. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes, I love it. So nice. Yeah. Ah. Oh. So, <laughs> the much awaited wedding night is here. Mm-hmm. So let's go fresh, you know, <laughs> and get ready for the D-Day. I can't wait. You want to help me take up my dress? Mm-hmm. I'm sure I'm gonna make it a memorable one for you. I trust you will. Strap it on the knee. Oh, it's so tight. What's up? <laughs> Fine, sir. Was... We thank God. We thank God. Everything went well. I'm in my hotel with my new bride. Oh, you're here. The VIP bar. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll be right there. It's okay. I'm coming. All right, sir. He's here? Yes, baby. Then why didn't he try to make it to the wedding? That was really wrong. He said he would tell me when I come. Mm, I hope he does. I'm fine. Run along. All right, baby. Hey. I'll have had my bath and all dressed by the time you get back. Okay. Let me go get my presents. Okay. Wedding presents. I'll be right back. Yeah. I would have showered and I'll be resting before you get here. Okay. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. I'll be right there. What time? Oh. Hi, reception. Your water heater is not working. I need to take it back now.
actually working. No, it's not working. I've tried it twice. Madam, there's a hidden button. Yes, I saw the red button. I didn't touch it because no. I didn't know what it was for. No, it's not the red button. Like, there's another button. It's hidden, actually. You are meant to press it first. Ah. So, I've tried it twice. Okay, sure. Welcome. Thank you. Excuse me, I, I need to get back and take a shower. Madam, this is against our working ethics. But my conscience will continue to smit me if I do nothing about this here. Okay. <clears throat> I, I'm having a very hard time trying to understand what you want to say. I mean, Madam, you are a woman. And I have sisters. You don't deserve such treatment. Not on your wedding night. Um, <clears throat> I, <laughs> like I said earlier, I do not understand what's going on. But I need to get back and take a shower. Like, I, I'm having a hard time understanding why you are here? The shower is still working. Madam, your husband is lodging in a room Bugatti. I know. He went there to get our wedding present because his boss is lodged in that room. Thank you. With a woman. Lodging, lodging in Ugandan with, with, with a woman. woman.
Explain. Explain, please. I can explain. Please hear me out, please. Please, please forgive me. 
please. Oh, it's the hammer of the devil. Please, 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 George Bush. So why did you do that? You know you've ruined that uh, marriage. People that just got married, no, 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 no. You don't even allow them to start before breaking them. George Bush, you're an enemy of progress. Uh -huh. Yes. How? Oh. You're an enemy of progress. Hey, George Bush. No, 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 no. I'll report you to the management. Yes. Eh? I'll report you. Exact management. See, no wait, problem. wait now. I can uh, explain everything that happened. Explain. How much are you reporting me? There is nothing to explain. Please, no. You I have ruined know. that newly married couple. Please, please. I'm begging you. Uh, please. Uh, Don't say anything. Please. I will, I will report. Eh? Please. Except manager did not come to this place. I'll report. <laughs> Where is she? Where is my sister? Where is Sister Rose? Where is she? What did she say? She left with her luggage. Find out. I think it's that guy that left this room. Oi. Oh, it's true. I saw the way he was looking at you. <laughs> Sandra said she will not be coming back this night. Um, that's what she said before she left. Who is there? Ah, Sister Rose. Rose? Oh my God. What happened? Uh, Sister Rose, you have killed me. Sandra. 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 Sandra has killed me. Sandra. Sandra has killed me, Mama. Your daughter has ruined my marriage. Sandra has killed me. I don't understand. 
But she told us that she she was going for a choir rehearsal. Yes, Mama. She said she was going for a choir rehearsal before she left here. All lies. Huh? I caught Sandra pants down with my husband in the hotel where we are lodging after our wedding. Pants down. God forbid, not my Sandra. <sighs> My daughter, please, did you see her? Are you sure that is Sandra? Sandra has been sleeping with my husband, Mama, and I did not know. Pants down with my husband. Sandra has killed me. Sandra has killed me. She has ruined my marriage, Mama. Sandra has killed me. Sandra has killed me. Where can they? Santa has killed me. Oh. Oh. Uche, what will this be called? I want to go to that hotel to see with my eyes. Biko, please allow me to go. Hey! Why say Mure? It's good. Calm down. Calm down first. Please. Did I hear you say calm down? No! How can I calm down? How can I start the coming down exercise? How? Tell me! Hey! Mama, you need to come and sleep. Hey, Mama. Mama. Hey, what time are you going to sleep? You need to go and sleep. Try and get some sleep. Tomorrow morning, you'll be taking to that hotel to go and talk to her. Sleep? Yes, Mama. With which eyes? I am not even sure that sleep will cross this eye. The kind of condition I am now is too much for me. It's too much for me. It's too much for me. Hey! Mama, you need to try. Try. Come and sleep. With which eyes? Mama. With which eyes? Mama. With which eyes? Hi! Hey. Go to the hotel and see that. No! How will I sleep? Come, try and sleep. How will I sleep? How will I sleep? How will I sleep? How will I sleep? How? Hey! Oh, I can see you. Please take me to the hotel, please. Tomorrow morning you will go here and see her, Mama. How can I sleep? Mama, try. How can I sleep? Try. How can I sleep? If I don't make a quad, if I don't make a quad, hey, oh, Jibo, if I don't make a quad, hey, Chai, man, man, so there isn't just one man who is free from this generational cross. On my wedding night, here I am, miserable. Excuse me, come on, sweetie. Excuse me. Are you going to talk? Yeah, but you know, I've been trying to stop you, have a word with you, but you seem not to regard my person. Tell me, why would I regard your person? When I just saw you left a woman out there just to come running after me. Oh, that lady, no, she's my cousin, actually. She came for her youth service and I was trying to... Oh, please, 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 spare me all that. Spare me all that. 
I'm not cut out for those lies you guys are known for. See, I only stopped so you could say whatever it is that you have to say. And let me have my peace. All right, it's okay, sweetie. Actually, uh, my name is Azubi K. I stay in the duplex just down the street. Okay? I do import and export. Right? Uh, I feel it's better to meet with you, have a word with you, probably have your phone number so we be friends. Okay? Is that all you have to say? Of course. Come on. Oh. Okay. Please. Huh? I don't need a guy that would lie to me or to some other girl about how I'm um, his cousin, blah, blah, blah. And please also stop trailing me. You can't keep trailing me each and every day I pass this route. This is the only route to my house. You can't keep trailing me every other day. Excuse me, sweetie. Okay. I hope we are clear on that. It's okay. Keep talking. Oh, you don't just have to conclude like that, sweetheart. You're not God. Come on. Tell you something. It had better be something I want to hear. Else, keep it to yourself. Okay. Thank you. Um, first of all, I want to start by thanking you for accommodating me in your room. I mean, it's not easy. You know, it's not easy at all for somebody to accommodate another in her apartment. I know I've always thanked you, but I can't thank you enough. I'll forever be grateful. Rose. Yes. Wait a minute. Is this what you want to tell me? Um, that's not all, actually. Then what um, is it? I want to ask you something. What is it? You know, I was in the village when you came to me and asked that I joined you in your room in the city. You said I should come up so I could add computer education to my OND certificate. So I can stand the chance of getting a better job. And Didi, I thought about it. I didn't come to you to ask for this favor. You came to me. You suggested it. You asked that Rose, I know I came to you, but I did not intend that you stay in my house forever. I was squatted with a girl. After one year, I got my own place. Why is your own difference? My darling, why is your own difference? Why? Didi, all I ask is a little more time. Please. Just give me some... Wait, wait a minute. Did you say more time? Rose, this is what you've been saying since last year. Till now. I need privacy. I am tired. Rose, I am tired. Take it easy. I will leave your house. I will leave. But I just need, I just need to save her. Please. Bear you with me. You will leave when? Now? Tomorrow? Next? Or ten years? Rose, when? It, is not, it has not been easy with me. I beg, I beg, I beg. I know it, please. Please, please. 
Apek, apek, bus, apek. Did it for Christ's sake? Stop making it look as if I don't have a house. I'm not coming from the bush either. Indeed, you know too well, my father built us a house back there in the village. A comfortable one at that. I was living with my mother and my siblings before he came down there preaching me into coming to the city to live with you. Really, Rose? Really? So I am now the evil person that brought you from the dark to the light? Like bringing you to the city, I am now a bad person? Is that what you're telling me? Indeed, that's not what I'm saying. That is not what I'm saying. Please, don't misunderstand me. Did you, why are you trying to abort the good work you did? Why not let it mature? Why? See, all I ask is some more time to save up money and leave your house in peace. Please. In peace? In peace, Rose. And did the reason with me now? Rose, just wait a minute. Did I hear you say in peace? Tell me how you want to raise money to get an apartment in this town. Look at you. You're sounding as if you don't know that my boyfriend pays for me in this apartment. Other girls, is their boyfriend pay for them as well. But you, look at you. I don't know what your problem is. Tell me, Rose, what is your problem? Have a boyfriend, you say no. Live a good life, you say no. I don't know, wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me you want to be a nun or something? I don't... I'm not going to be any nun. I'm not going to be a nun. Then what is your problem, Rose? Why are you wasting your beauty? Ah. Eh? Can you look at yourself? Indeed, please listen to me. Listen to me and reason with me too. See, I I encountered a terrible heartbreak during school days. I don't want to pass through sufferings again. The, the heartbreak I suffered really taught me to stay on my own. Men are cheats. They are not faithful. Not one is. <laughs> and as it, as it is, I'm not ready to be part of their infidelity. Not now, at least. Uh -uh, not now. Rose, are you trying to tell me that you don't want to get married and raise your own family, your children? There you go wrong again. That's not what I'm saying. When we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. When marriage comes, we shall know what to do. I don't understand. What did you try to tell me? What are you trying to say? I'll get married, but at least... My know. dear, stop deceiving yourself. Use this beauty. Use a hammer. Eh? Stop deceiving yourself. You better go out and get a better boyfriend. Ah. So that you can at least leave my house in peace. At least it can get you a good apartment. Girlfriend, make use of your properties. From Eto to not be Gary now. Just they you waste yourself for nothing. But your boyfriend mustn't get the apartment for me. Go get, go get. Mo will not be a nigga will collect for you. I'm going to school too. You want to stay in my house, that too. Don't go, don't go get a boyfriend me, call, call, call her house, make her hair wash. I'm not going to feel carry boyfriend, come house. I'll, I'll leave your house. I said I'll leave. Bro, don't provoke me, oh. Don't provoke me, oh. You don't just have to conclude like that, sweetheart. You're not God. Come on. <sighs> that guy has everything I need in a man. He's rich, he's good looking, maybe he was right after all, I concluded so fast mm. and maybe indeed he was right also. I need a boyfriend urgently and maybe I should give him a chance, who knows. Maybe, just maybe.
so he has finally given up on me. Like, he couldn't even persist and persuade me more. guys are ready okay just let me know good afternoon sir you <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. I'm alright. Okay. Um, my name is Rose. I'm an OND holder. I'm currently running my computer program. Oh, it's okay. Good to see you again. Come here. Ah. Thank you. Alright. Just hop in, I drop you off, okay? Thank you very much. Yeah. Excited over excitement for me. I got myself a boyfriend. I got myself a boyfriend. Oh. The best of them all. Thank the you. Mama Mama <laughs> See, when you so you got me this excited, like I'm, I'm, so I'm happy excited. for you. Congratulations, darling. Thank you. Here you go, girl. You. At least I can rest now. Of course you should rest. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm happy, at least, if not for any other thing. I'll get away from your troubles. Ah, who frustrate me? What? I don't understand. Because if you are that girl, you don't go here with the So to get boyfriend, they will sweet you all this while you're just acting. Girl, I'm happy for you. Congratulations again, man. How for you? Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. I have a boyfriend now. My dear. I have a boyfriend. Oh yeah, come on, do. You see this guy? Finally, I've eaten that thing you've been, you know, I've been begging you for and you're doing shakara for oh? me. Following you around all over the streets. I've gotten it, baby. Now, are you for real? Really? Oh, come on. I'm... Please! I don't like it when men talk like this. Why would you make me feel less of myself? It's okay, I was only joking. Come on. I beg. You easily get angry? Why wouldn't I? Ah, uh, I was just joking, okay? Ah, uh, who be that? Don't break my door! I have 
Hey! Yawa don't go soon. Musa, is that a greeting or what? Madam, good afternoon. And why are you looking at me like that? Is that we cannot in the house? Hey, Madam, Ogade, Ogade for house. Ogade house. Madam, I don't think I need to go. I love the food. 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 I love the I love the food. I love the I Ah, a lot actually. But okay. first thing, I was really attracted by your chocolate color. Okay. I love them chocolate, you know. Then who? And, and also, I, I love your dress sense, you know. You're so different from every other girls. You look really, really different. Trust me. Thank you. Yeah. Are you expecting anyone? Uh, no, not really. But just hold on, I check, okay? Okay. 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 Uh. Oh, my angel. Oh, good to see you. You decided to take me on a way? And what is this thing doing here? Oh, sweetie, come on. She's Chukwebuka's side chick. Chukwebuka's fiancé is in his house and, you know, he brought her here just to have a quick one. <laughs> you understand? I'm even surprised you didn't meet him outside. Oh. You guys didn't meet on the way? Wait, 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 wait. I don't understand. Chukwebuka left his girl with you, dressed on your shirt. Wow. She's even wearing your slippers. And she's half naked. I don't understand. I mean, Explain. I mean, just call Lebuka. If you're doubting me, call him right away. I'm surprised you guys didn't meet on, on the way. He oh. just left here now. I have his number. I'll call him. Please do. Hello. Lebuka. Are you the one that left a girl in my husband's house? What's your name? Rose. My name is Rose. You know what? Just get out of my house. Your sight disgusts me. Just just get out. Okay, ma. And pull my husband's shirt. His slippers. Just pull it and get out. Okay, thank you. You're getting too angry. That's why like you still take your own side chick to his house. No, you know, you know I won't do that. Try to understand. Just tell her to leave my house. Please. Just tell her to leave my house. She's about leaving. You just finished the call and you, 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 you heard what he said. I mean, stop getting foolish. Hey! This one, I cry, they cry for I'm <laughs> so 
Okay, I know how you feel. <laughs> Rose, calm down, okay? You just please do this stop. Don't ever tell me to calm down. Don't ever tell me to calm down. You've always wanted me to leave your house. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm going back to the village. At least I have your house. Rose, wait. <laughs> please listen to me. Please, you just have to stop. I am sorry. Rose. <laughs> Rose. You don't know nothing. You know nothing. Because of you, I've been humiliated like a piece of shit. I should get a boyfriend. I should get a house. I should do this. I should do that. I'm always listening to you. Now look how I've been. I've messed up myself. I've been messed up. I've, I've been humiliated. I've been. Oh, God. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I really thought he was different. I mean, I, I, I actually thought he was different. So they are all the same. All of them. Then why do I keep falling into the hands of devils? I mean, what, what have I done wrong? This is just the height of it. This is... This is the height height of the frustration. My frustration. Sister, you just have to stop crying. Crying will not solve anything. Please, you just have to sleep. Try and get some sleep. Because if you break down now, the entire story will change. Hi! Please. Sandra. Sandra. This is the height of it. This is the <coughs> height of it. <clears throat> this time will be fine. Do you think I thought Ken was different? Sister. Hey! Sister, I know it hurts so bad. But please, try and sleep. Oh, how do I even close my eyes? Sister, try. How do I even close my eyes? My wedding night has turned into a night of torment for me. Hey! Mm. Just let it go. I can't. I can't. Hmm. Are you still awake? Uche. Mama. Is it morning already? <sighs> Mama, it's just 2 30 a.m. Oh, what a long night. Eh? Get with your banicha day, Fuzi, Fubi, and Ka. Just go and sleep. Hey, Uche. Uche, I can't. I'm not getting myself. I'm not getting myself. Hi. What do that? Catch your man for what? Sandra. Sandra. I can't go back to the house. My sister will skin me alive. Thank you. 
I'll advise you do so. So what should I do? Where do I go from here? I suggest you stay here for now. Till all of things are over. I have faith that uh, it will be over soon. Are you sure? I don't even know how sure I am. I'm just being hopeful. If you truly love me, take me to that hotel. I want to see that girl. Mama. Is it necessary? It's very necessary. I want to see Sandra with my eyes. I know she will be waiting for me to return to the village before she comes back. I am not going anywhere. I will be here waiting for her. Mama, won't she come back home again? Which home? Bia Rose. Rose, you are getting me upset too. If you don't want to take me, call that your, your, your Taizi driver to come and take me to that hotel. I want to see that girl. I want to see her before leaving. Big old man, please. What if you like a delay? When you get to lake you When you begin move to stop I'm now wow Your head is good to wang your let the work go de hang Body no the argument you body no one know When body calling you must answer When your body's calling you must say yes Nothing where you go tell them something they hungry am you must scratch this scratch. Hey! Hey! What are you Mama, Mama! Hey, stop! Stop! Mama. Stop me! Mama, take Shut me. Where is she? Mama, just hold on, hold on, hold on. Calm down what? Mama, calm down what? Excuse me, madam. How can I help you? Where is Sandra, my daughter? Who is Sandra? Who is Sandra, Sandra, my daughter! Sandra! See, the couple that were there yesterday yes. in the hotel, the bride, the sister of the bride, that the old man kept in the hotel, that is the person mom is looking for. I'm sorry, sir, we don't do like this here. And besides, I was not on duty last night. I only Wait, been to work this morning. Yes, show, me this morning. show me the people that are on duty last night. Show me the people. Show me. Show me the people that are on duty last night. Please, this is the hotel. You are I will shut this place down. I will shut this place down. Show me, my daughter. Show me. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hello, a a Auntie Rose. We are already at the hotel and the receptionist refused to show us the room number. Uh, please, can you tell us uh, the room number because I'm here with your mom. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Sandra! Open the door! It's my mother, oh. Don't open it. It's my mother. She wants to kill me. She wants to kill me. Please, don't open. I said you should open this door before I break it down. Don't go. Don't go. Don't listen to her. She will kill me. Please. Please. Sandra, what are you still doing there? Don't open. Please, don't open. She wants to kill me. Look, you don't solve a problem by running away from it. You have to face it squarely. Okay? Open this door! Open this door now! I will break this door down! Oh. Open it. Oh, no. Just be strong. Okay? Okay, yes. Just be strong. Open this door! What are they still waiting for? Open 
I didn't bag in for all of this. What do we do? So, what is the remedy now? That's exactly why I called you. You see, Ken, I'd advise you go to that room and explain everything to that woman. In the circumstance, she's the only one that can help you now. You see, if you end up winning her heart now, that she's still with us, again, you automatically win back your marriage. Give it a thick dot. I mean, think about it. She listens to me. She will listen. Take the bold step first. Okay? She will. Appreciate. I'm good, I'm good. Just to be fine, okay? Appreciate. Pleasure, okay? Mm. Let's take it easy on yourself. told you to lie to us that you are going for all night choir rehearsal. <laughs> was it the devil or so, Sandra? Hi! <laughs> Mama! Hi! 
Mas e pegou. E mamãe. What did I just hear you say? You call me mother. Do I look like your mother? In the man I'm nigga nigga don't come nigga. If your pussy told you can you just your poor other boy? Mama, please. The deed has been done. We are both ashamed of what we did. All we have to be thinking now is the best way to remedy this situation, the best way to, to heal the wounded soul and not to keep apportioning blames. Please, Mama. What do you think that can be done in this situation? What? Now you're talking, Mama. I'll stand in. This is not the day of matter, no matter how you pray. If you know settle body, while I go there, you need some ro -ro -ro. some romance, some ta -ta -ta. some touching. Anyhow we be, but you know one know. When body calling, you must answer. When your body's calling, you must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them, something the hungry am. You must scratch, they scratch you. But you know what to Scratch it, scratch it yeah. You must answer hey. Body calling You must say yes Nothing where you can tell them Something they hungry yeah. You must scratch, they scratch you But you know what to When body don't charge it You must answer It's not easy to hold body You must say yes hey, Nothing where you can tell them Something the hungry am. You must scratch this, scratch you. But you know what to do. To give peace, Charles. Please. Mama. What peace are you talking about? Can you listen to that young man? Can you hear him out Mama, at least for a second? What does he have to say? Can you give me one reason why I should listen to him? He loves you. He still loves you, yes. That is your definition of love? I know when a man is in love. It is true that men are promiscuous in nature. But their hearts always belongs to that particular one they love. Please, my daughter, be good. I will not. I do not want to see him in this house. If he steps his feet in this house, only God knows what I will do to him. Possibly set him ablaze. What about your sister? I do you not are... have a sister. Hi. Not... Sister was... Hi. Now I know that they this devil, he came at the right time. Yeah. 
Yes, Mama. But Aka Gebi Anana. Amen. Aka Gebi Anana. Amen. He will not succeed. Devil will not succeed in this, my family. Amen. At all. It can never work. Jidu Mazen Tisa. Hey! Mama, it's okay. I can sit there. It's okay. What will I do? Who will I talk to? Hey! My enemy will laugh at me. Mama, it's okay. They will laugh at me. It's okay. God will tell me. Irachi boom. Against our bloodline, and I've seen the against our family's belief. I deserve to die. Please kill me. If killing me will ease your pain, I will die happily knowing that you've forgiven me. Years to come, you cannot forget it. 
sister, please just kill me. If killing me will wash away the pain in your heart, do it, I beg Sandra, you. Sandra, if you want to die, go outside and look for somebody to kill you. I am not a murderer. Sister, please forgive me. Leave my room. I can't live with this cutie man. Get hands. out of my room. Sister, please. Get! Get out! Get out! Get out! Sister, please forgive me. I said, get out! Time will heal this wound? Of course. Trust me on this. If she leaves me, Joe, I am ruined. Believe me when I say my life will have no meaning without her in my life. I would advise you calm down. The Rose I know loves you a lot, so much. And I believe she will forgive you. It's just a question of time. Sure. Are you sure? Sure. Sure, sure. You see, all you need is just give her a little space, like the mother advised. Rose will forgive you. Love conquers all. Start going. Quite practice? Yes. Be careful. Don't stay up late. I won't. Start bye bye. 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 Which stomach are you watching? This one this out too. This is your sister Tessie, man. Ah. Did you see a vision? What's ah ah? Did you think she's still a virgin? Yes, she is still a virgin. Ah ah. What do you mean? <laughs> Let me tell you something. This particular girl, of all of us, my mother gave birth to. She took after my mother when it comes to loving God and the things of God. So, in the village, she was so engrossed in the things of God, church and all of those things, mm -hmm. that people thought she was going to be a nun. So, none of the boys had the effort to go to her and say, Afron mm -hmm. Nobody. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, she's no longer in the village. She's now in the city and you must be that to believe that this lady I just saw right now, She's still a virgin. She's still a virgin. Don't come and spoil my sister for me, I beg you. Yes. So now, I'm the spoiler, my oh, Yes, no. Uh -uh. Because if I beg you, this one doesn't know. The only thing in this one's head is God and choir practice. Okay. Finished. You will tell me now. Are you eating or not? I'm not eating. You want to keep me with food? Virgin sniffer. Yes, I smell her. Are you a virgin? <laughs> Man, no. 
The busher man, he was the one that delayed me. He was busy telling me that his meat is on the way, it's on the way, it's on the way. And I was waiting. And he collected your phone from you? I've been calling you and your phone has been switched off. Hi. Hi. Sister, sorry, I did not know that my phone was switched off. Uh, Go and prepare the food. Uh. Sorry, sister. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? Your sister. What about her? Rose, she just lied to you. Why would you say that? She's just some senior man. Okay. Are you picking this sniffing thing, Janda Level? Don't tell me you don't know when a girl is just from having sex a few minutes ago. You sniff it out? Juliet, Sandra is not that type of a child. I'm telling you, I'm sure the sweat and all the panting is from running to get here so I don't get upset with her. Okay, I won't talk again. Sniffer. She honestly is not that type of a child. And to show you how much I trust her, I can actually let her move in with me after my wedding with Ken. That would be the dumbest thing you ever imagined. I didn't say I would do it. I'm just explaining to you the extent to which I trust her. She can stay with us and I won't feel threatened or scared about anything. Because I know that if Ken tries anything, she will not succumb and she will report to me. You better don't try it to save your marriage. I didn't say I'm doing it, Sniffer. I said I could and not be scared or threatened. Okay. But I'm just leaving it. Okay. I'm telling you, yes. Okay. I'm sleeping in a Me what? Jumping? Yeah, look at the fabric I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> you like this one? The fabric. What did you mean by me again? Sorry, ma. I just say now. Sorry. No worry. Sorry, ma. Mike. Ma. Has your ogre told you that him and I are getting married? Yes, ma. Awesome. So that means that this is my house. Yes, ma. And I can come in and go out yes, whenever I want. Yes, ma'am. So we have to be friends, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> High five. <laughs> OK. Hey. Thank you. So please open the gate for the car outside to come in. Yes, ma'am. And then we're good. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> madam. Madam, you are welcome. <laughs> My madam. Thank you, ma. Welcome. Okay. Awesome. Hey, you, baby. <laughs> hey. Right. How are you? Good. I miss you, so I said to drop by. I miss you too. <laughs> but I hope you know we're not doing anything. Oh God, no, I... I just really wanted to spend time with you. You know, just lie down here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I still maintain we keep to our promise, right? You're going to thank me after our wedding night. Hopefully. And yes, I do remember the promise. <laughs> okay, baby, you know, it takes love to get married. But it takes discipline to stay happily married. Okay. We just have to keep maintaining the disciplinary measures. Okay? It's not like we've not been doing it. Of course we have. <laughs> over the years but I just want us to stay till our wedding night okay 
It's beautiful like that. I know. And thank you, Lord, for giving me a romantic man. <laughs> the one who fears you and wouldn't do anything till our wedding night. I honestly appreciate that about you. And I keep thanking God for giving me an understanding woman like you. Awesome. I really love you and I appreciate you for that. I love you more. Where are you going? Sit. <sighs> Why don't you get you something to eat? Not anything. I just want to stare at you. <laughs> God has blessed me. We. What if you like a delay? We're not getting to lick you. When you begin move to stop from now, your head is good to hang. Your neck to walk is good to hang. But you know they've argued you. But you know what? You must answer when your body's calling. You must say yes. Nothing where you go tell I just hope he's not seeing another woman behind my back. God, I hope he's telling me the truth. I hope he's not tired of me to the extent that he doesn't even care when I'm naked. Because I know that sometimes the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. Please, God. When your body calling, you must answer. It be like say, body want something. You must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them something they hungry. You must scratch this, scratch you. Body no one do. This is not a prayer matter. No matter how you pray, if you know settle body, wahala go day. Sandra. So it was you all this while. And I didn't know it. Oh, Juliet, Juliet, Juliet was against you. I still didn't believe her. I shown her countless times. Sule, the gatekeeper, tried to tell me that someone like me just left and I still didn't believe. I didn't even think about it. I was so dumb, I didn't catch it. All in the name of one stupid love. Sandra, why? Why? What wrong have I done to you? All I did was give you a better life. What wrong did I do by giving you every single good thing that life has to offer when our parents couldn't afford it? Why, Sandra, why?
Okay, ma. Um, everything here is nine thousand eight hundred and fifty naira. Okay. Please, can you be fast so I can attend to the person here? Um, no, no, you can just go over out. No, just, just search yourself out, ladies first. No, I'll take time because I, I can't find my ATM card. It's fine. Okay. You know what, just um, add hers to mine. And, um, okay. Put everything. Um, no, no, you... You honestly don't have to. I actually stay down the street. I'll just go home, get my card and come back for the item. It's so. needless. I already told her to do that. There's nothing. Thank you. You're I'm welcome. Sorry, I was so sudden I took my car. confirmed for my sister now my card is actually home oh. um thank you so much but i was wondering how i could um balance you like refund why are you owing me um <laughs> okay Come thank on, you you don't, you don't need to balance me i just did what i did uh because i saw probably you, you look stranded or something thank you it's all right do you mind if i have your number just to say thank you it's not easy to hold body. You must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them. Something in the hungry. You must scratch this, scratch you. But you know what to do. the supermarket last week forgot my card and you paid for my stuff oh what's up good <laughs> great um, that's the guy i told you helped me pick my bills when i forgot my card he's cute juliet but he's cute i'm sorry my friend juliet oh hi nice to meet you there me me um don't tell me you guys didn't no, <laughs> there, there was actually no time to. Yes, and then just so we're, uh, you know, on the same page, I wanted your number the other day just so I could call back and say thank you, not for any other thing. I, I, I was just a bit worried you misunderstood me. Yeah, no, it's okay, but I refuse giving you the number because I don't want you to look like I'm expecting something in return for helping someone in trouble. Awesome, awesome. You're right. Yes, your refusal was odd, but. I just said uh, to, you know, I, I, I just didn't want you to misunderstand why I asked for your number. No, I, I, it's okay. Just, it's all right. Just say it's thank all right. you. It's all right. It's okay. Mm. Rose. Rose. Uh-huh. Such a beautiful name. Oh, only Rose's name is beautiful. Okay. All right. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice. Oh. Rose. <laughs> Pleasure. Cecily. And, um... Juliet. Juliet. Julia, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Can I? So I see y'all uh, taking time out to chill. Yes, close from work. Um, said to have some gelly gelly chats. Mm. And I'm I'm so grateful. You, know, I really appreciate what you did. That. I get it. 
So, if you don't mind, can I have your number down? Um, yeah. Zero eight zero. Three. All right, you can have hands. Um, no, I not yours. So tell me more about yourself. So what else do you want to know about me? Your relationship life, um, love life, family, if you've got siblings, you know, generally. Any reason in particular why you want to know everything in one day? <sighs> why not? We can. Let's talk. But I was thinking, you know, like... Like, you know, you just can't know everything in one day. Okay, fine. It's alright. Let's talk about relationship then. And talk about the rest next time. Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, you. What about me? As if you don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Seriously. <laughs> okay. I mean, like... We dated for a very long time, and then we parted ways. Mm. You guys talk about what happened? Nothing. We just weren't compatible, you know. We knew that if we get married, it would be a mistake, so we broke it off. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. So, where's the guy now? Married, happily. Oh. Well, good for him, right? So, what else do you want to know about me? <sighs> Alright, so... I was wondering if we can go for... My best friend's party, birthday party tomorrow night. Aren't you supposed to go there with your girlfriend? Because I don't have one. Don't say no, please. Okay. Anyhow we be, but you know one love. When body calling, you must answer. I dropped you. No, no, I found my cab man. No, I dropped you. Something different. This way. <laughs> scratch it, scratch it. You must answer. Body calling. You must say yes. Nothing way. Okay, you said T Junction. We are here. Mm -hmm. So which way? Right. Right. No. Right. Mm -hmm. No, left. Left. Straight. What are you saying? You said left, right. Which way? I'm thinking left. Left? Maybe right. Oh, jeez. Please, is there like a landmark close to the place? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And to the left. Wow. Yes, straight. When body don't charge it, you must answer. It's not easy to hold body. You must say yes. Nothing where you can tell them. Something the hungry you must scratch they scratch you but you know what to do
advantage of somebody in their drunken state without their consent. That now is rape. I don't like it when a lady talks like this. You were drunk yesterday night. I did everything I could to take you back home, but I couldn't. I don't know the way to your house. Was I supposed to leave you on the streets? How about you put me in one of your empty rooms since you have six in this building other than your own bedroom? Well, I was drunk too. I wasn't thinking straight. Don't you understand that? Huh. Yeah, I mean, you should understand that. No, I don't. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my bad. But, but you should stop sounding this way. It's not as if you're, you're still a virgin. I am a person, a woman, a human being. It means before you have anything to do with me, it has to be with my consent. Anything other than that is abuse and rape. I'm sorry. Uh, you're right. But the truth is, I wasn't thinking straight. The only thing that came on my mind is just take you to my bedroom so you can have enough sleep, and that was it. Don't. Nice. I like it. <laughs> mm. Nice. You like? Yes, I like it. Mild. It's really nice, like. Mm. Mm mm. <laughs> See, I've been looking for the best way to propose to a queen like you, and I came up with this. You're amazing. I keep thanking God for the day we met. I keep thanking him for making you forget your ATM. <laughs> because without that, you wouldn't have been here today. I wouldn't have known how beautiful soul that you are. <laughs> I love you. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Every day, it's like a new day to me. On this day, I plead for you to walk, walk with me in this, in this forever journey together. Yes.
Of letting her go. No. 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 I can't leave her. I can't let her go. You have to believe me. I so much love your friend that I cannot survive without her. I know I have no words to justify my actions. What I had with Sandy was a mere lost. I allowed myself to, to fall for that. I love Rose so much. If there's anything I wish in life, it's to have her back. The betrayal was at its peak. It wouldn't be easy at all. It wouldn't be. I know with you and her mother in the picture, it's going to be possible. All I need is, is a chance to speak with her. I need to explain things to her. I believe she may understand. Please. I'll try, but I'm not promising anything. Please try for me. This is a matter of life and death. You should have thought of that. Believe me, Rose, Ken really loves you. He loves you so much. Juliet. He loves me and he was sleeping with my baby sister behind my back. That's true love, right? I know it's not easy to understand, but it's possible for a man to still love you and cheat on you. Yes. I, I don't want that kind of love. Juliet, I do not want a cheat as a husband. Look, it's hard for me, but this marriage is over. It can't work. Fine. Please, can you just hear him out? Even if you don't want to continue with the marriage, no, you? no, just this once, no. and after that you can make your own decision. I told you I do not want to see him. Please, Rose. no, Rosie, please, please, no, please, <sighs> just hear him, just this once. I'm sorry, forgive me for no time saved.
as requested, I'm here. And I'm ready to listen to what you have to say. For all time's sake, please forgive me. It's an honest mistake. Maybe you know I never will hurt you. You know I can't live without you. I'm not too proud to beg. Baby, you. Thank you for this opportunity. to be called your husband again. What I did was an abominable act in the sight of God and in the sight of men. I'm here to tell you my own side of the story. You're not obliged to forgive me. But if you do, I will be the happiest man on earth. But if you don't, it's all your choice. I'm listening to you. Please, you don't have to kneel. Stand up. Baby, you know I never will hurt you. You know I can't live without you. I'm not too proud to beg. Baby, you have the right to be angry with me. And you have the right to be mad. I didn't mean to hurt you. I wouldn't have thought about it. It was just your... your high trust for your sister that led me to unavoidable mistake. That took a better part of me. I couldn't control myself. I didn't just know what I was doing. It all started this way. What if you like it, Delilah? When you get to lick you. When you begin move to stop I'm now. Nobody's calling, you must say yes, sir. Nothing where you go tell them, something the hungry am. You must scratch this, scratch you. Yeah, hello, baby. Hello, baby. Baby, you didn't give me back my wallet. Oh, and you know I said I was going to give it to you this morning while I'm on my way to work. What happened? I forgot. I won't forget about going out this morning. Yes, I did. So what are you going to do now? I need it this morning. Where are you now? I'm almost at my office. You have to turn back to get it. Ah, because no, 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 babe, please, I can't. I'm already at the office. For my love, I need it this morning. Please, can you just drive by my house and pick it up? It's on the center table. Okay. But I can't go to your house when you're not there. Well, my sister is at home. And you think it's wise for me to go there alone? No, no. It's not to go there. Take your wallet. I trust you and I know you have self-control. What? What is the one there to... Come on. Meaning? Meaning I can leave you with my younger sister and I won't have any reason to be afraid or worried. It's not about me. It's about your sister. No, no, no. Uh -uh. Listen, my sister is a born again. 
she doesn't have time for such worldly things, I can vouch for her any day, any time. Listen, I'm 100% confident. Don't even go there. She doesn't have that time and if you try to mess with her, she will tell me. Okay, okay. Uh, let me go there. Alright, great. So I'm 100% confident. Go there, take your wallet, even if you want to misbehave. She will not allow you. I trust her. No, I said even if. Ha! Huh. I trust you. I trust you. Let me go, let me go. Problems, but really, but actually, I, I came to um, collect the wallet, and the wallet I've, I've collected. I, I, I didn't mean to distract you. No, sir, you don't distract me. I don't do anything. I'm sorry. It's not me. Please. Okay. Bye. You didn't see anything. Um. <laughs> Next time, I, I, I think you should lock the door. Very important. Your body want to ebonge. You must answer. Give a book where open and slowly. You must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them. Something they hungry. You must scratch this, scratch you. Body no one do. Yeah? Excuse me, brother. I want to see you. Okay. Privately, brother. Please, I want to discuss something with you. Alright, let's talk. Pri privately, inside. Let's go inside, sir. Inside? Somewhere private. We can talk. Just say whatever thing you want to say here, man. I'm, I'm all ears. We need somewhere private, sir. Okay. Come in then. Mother, please, please don't tell my sister to saw. She'll be disappointed, please. Okay. I won't tell her. Sir, promise me. Promise me you won't tell her, please. Just promise me. But why? I mean, why would you indulge in such unholy act? Sir, that's the problem. I've tried so much to stop these habits, but the more I try, the more I find myself doing it. This habit is killing me. Sorry, sir. Don't you have a boyfriend? No. No, sir. You know, when I was growing up, 
I, I love the things of God. So it, it made everyone around me, including my mother and my sister, see me as a saint. So they started expecting more than I could give them from me. I, I'm sorry. Uh, it's because I do not want to disappoint them. Whenever the urge to be with a man comes, I don't have any man to meet or be with, so I resorted to this. I'm sorry, sir. How often do you do this? Sir, please. It's whenever I'm alone that this urge comes. Whenever I'm alone. Please, don't tell my sister, please. But well, don't you think it's best I tell your sister so she can allow you to have a boyfriend? Hey. Sir, so, no. No, my sister. My sister sees me like Mary Madeline. She, she, she loves the way I love God. She loves the way I go to church. She will be disappointed, sir. Please. Sir, please do this for me. Please don't tell her. Sir, please, Sister Rose has helped me a lot, please. Okay, I've, I've heard all you said, but I still maintain as best I, I let your sister know she can allow you to have a boyfriend. I mean, you're old enough to have one. I think she's protecting you from having a boyfriend because she's scared you might end up with the wrong person. But if you get someone that loves you for who you are, why not? We all will support you. Instead of doing this on the couch all the time. You're not young. But it's okay, I've heard what you said. Um, I won't tell her, I promise. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. It's okay. Bye, bye, sir. Thank you. Growing up into a woman, even though I still love God, but that feminine part of me wouldn't leave me. The hunger to be with a man gets stronger. The urge to be with a man is stronger than the desire to save God. Argument you, but you know one no. When body calling, you must answer. When your body's calling, you must say yes, sir. Nothing where you go tell them, something the hungry am. You must scratch, they scratch you, but you know one no. When your body calling, you must answer. You be like, say, body want something. Oh. You must say yes, sir. Nothing where you go tell them Something the hungry am You must scratch, they scratch you But you know one do This is not a prayer matter No matter how you pray If you know set to nobody Oh my God What have I just done? I love Rose so much I am not supposed to be hurting her. God, what have I done? You must scratch this, scratch you, but you know one do. Scratch it, scratch it. You must answer. Body calling. You must say yes, sir. Nothing where you go tell them. Something the hungry am. You must scratch this, scratch you. But you know one do
It's nothing, it's just me and my usual forgetting. So, what did you forget? Oh, I borrowed Ken's juicer and I promised I was going to return it to him today because I know he will need it to blend fruits for the office. But I forgot, as usual. So, what do we do now? Or should I turn back? No, no, no. Just take me to the office. Okay. Um, listen. When you drop me at the office, you go back to the house. Tell Sandra on top of the deep freezer, she'll see the juicer there. Please collect it from her, take it straight to Ken's house. If he isn't at home, just give it to Suli, the security man. Okay, ma. Mm. Oh, me and forgetting things. I'm like five and six. <laughs> to waste this kind of money now. Ah. I don't they knock since like even now nah, even heaven they, they knock at least God go open or one of the angels go open. Since I know they go now. And money now be man now. The money time because they make money. Are you no longer coming this morning? Baby, I'm already in the office. Really? So how about my blender? I told you I'll be needing it this morning. Did my cabman bring it to you? No. No one came here. Hey, let me call him. Okay, baby, I'm waiting, huh? Ah, 
I don't need it to stop bounce. This is money. Oh. Oh. We have a fair weather this morning. I, I believe when you get to the airport, uh, Guy, pick your call now. Hello, Auntie Rose. Yeah, I came to your house this morning. I was knocking and nobody opens the door for me. Yes, I came to the house. I knocked the door. Then I had to leave because no one was opening for me. And you know this is morning. I'm only be a man. Ah. Ah, I've already carried another passenger. I'm on my way to the airport. Yes, ma. my bath. Yes, yes, in the kitchen. Yes. Okay, ma. Okay. Oh. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. This is not a prayer matter, no matter how you pray. If you know settle nobody, wahala go day, you need some ro ro ro. Some romance, some ba ba ba. Some touching. Anyhow it be, but you know one Say yes, I ever nothing where you go tell them something they hungry. Now who is that? Where are you from? No, no. You eh? You just want to walk out my way, way. I be her younger sister. I be. I don't see her. What for now, man? And please, it's your boss around. My sister sent you to do something. Hey, my dad, they are inside. Inside? Yeah. Okay. Hey! Hey! My... What did you come out of the house? 
Les gens qui ont dit que les gens qui ont dit que les gens qui ont dit que les gens qui ont Your sister sent you. Uh, yes, brother. She's asking to give you this. Okay, just drop it there. Okay, brother. Well, I'll be able to All right. Hey, brother. Brother, I just want to say thank you for not reporting me to my sister. Thank you very much. God bless you. It's all right. I already promised I, I won't. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Um, can you blend fruits? Sir? Can you blend fruits? Yes, I can blend fruits. Okay, can you help me with blending um, fruits? Okay, yes, I, I can help you, brother. Here's your kitchen. That one.
How, how happy and relieved your sister was afterwards. She has been in bondage all this while. I'm so ashamed of myself right now. Brother, brother, uh, brother, I'm very sorry. It's me that caused it. I'm sorry. Eh? I'm so sorry. He, he chose that. I never knew it to end this way. Even if you did not even do it with me, I would have done it with anybody because I needed it badly. Oh my. God, I feel so I'm ashamed so of myself right now. I feel so ashamed of myself. Huh? 
Brother, please, don't be offended. See, I promise you, I will never ever come between you and my sister. I will never do anything to hurt my sister. I will not destroy anything. Your relationship is still intact. Please, forgive me. It's okay. It's, it's not entirely your fault. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize your relationship with my sister. I promise. I promise, true. Your relationship is still intact, brother. My brother. Just shut up first, okay? You've been all straight and edgy since you got here. <sighs> Not, nothing, baby. Something I... is eating you up. I can see it. Out with it. <sighs> nothing, baby. I was just... I know what is wrong. You don't have to keep a straight face. Just tell me. You want us to spend time at your place instead, right? That's not a problem. Let me change and then we can go. Deal? I was coming over with soup. Mm. Tell him I said I'm exhausted. Just a little rest and I'll be over. Open the big freezer. Okay. The soup I just cooked, the one with the green cover, the small plate. Mm. Take it to him. Microwave it. Then you can make small and serve him. Just tell him I said, please, I am exhausted. And then I'll be over soon. Okay, sister. Alright. Hurry up, hurry up, people.
Good evening. Um, my sister sends me to you. She says she's not feeling fine. That she come and help her make dinner for you. She's not feeling fine? Yes. What is wrong with her? I think malaria or typhoid. Okay. Hello, baby. Your sister said you're not feeling fine. So sorry, my love. Have you taken medicine? Okay, I'll be stopping by then. Why? You don't need to say that, I'm coming. Okay, bye, talk to you later. Forget to break you When you begin move To stop I'm now Your head you go there to wang Your little work you go there Body know the argument you, body no one know. When body calling, you must answer. When your body's calling, you must say yes, sir. Nothing where you go tell them, something they hungry. Yeah. You must scratch, they scratch you, body no one know. When your body calling, you must answer. You be like, say, body want something. You must say yes, sir. Nothing where you go tell them, something they hungry am. You must scratch, they scratch you, but you no know one know. This is not a prayer matter, no matter how you pray. If you know settle nobody, huh, while I go there, you need some ro -ro -ro, some romance, some ta -ta -ta, some touching. Anyhow we be, but you no know one know. When body calling, you must answer. When your body's calling, you must say yes, I ever. Nothing where you go tell them, something they hungry am. You must scratch, they scratch you. How oh, I wish I could resist you whenever the urge comes. You need a boyfriend. That is what you need. If I start seeing any guy now, how am I going to hide it from my sister? She's going to find out. And she already knows that I'll be here by now. You're old enough to have a boyfriend. You don't understand these things, do you? I don't. Like, my sister sees me like a saint. She sees me like a decent girl. She sees me like a virgin. I don't want her to be disappointed. Like, she believes so much in me. She sees me like that good church girl. You don't get it, right? I'm your sister's soon-to-be husband. We're not meant to be doing this. I know. I know. Well, please, don't get angry now. Calm down. Nobody is going to know about our secrets. Are you ready to bring it out? No, me, I'm not ready. Um, this is our little secret. Eh? Please, don't get angry. Eh? I don't want you to say you're going to stop seeing me. Please, nobody is going to find out. Eh? I see, I understand that you're my sister's husband. She's also my sister and I don't want to hurt her. I'm not, I'm not going to intrude. I'm not going to come out like start trying to own you, no. I just want you to just satisfy me privately. So what happens to my conscience? Your conscience is still with you. Mine is with me. I'm just saying that you will continue doing it in secret. Nobody will know. This is not fair. Like, 
This is not supposed to be this way. I know. But just continue helping me, please. Let me be. You must scratch this, scratch you. But you don't want to. You must do answer. You must say yes, sir. Nothing where you go tell them. Something they hungry am. You must scratch this, scratch you. But you don't want to. You must do answer. You must say yes, sir. Nothing where you go tell them. Something they hungry am. You must scratch this, scratch you. But you know what to do You must answer You must say yes sir. Nothing where you go tell them Something the hungry am You must scratch this, scratch you But you know what to do yes, sir. Nothing where you go tell them Something the hungry am You must scratch this, scratch you Your sister and I are in no sex deal Till our wedding night. Your wedding is in three months' time. Yeah. I know. Why? Because I wanted to look all fresh and not really fresh, tight. Smooth. I want it to look like we just started, you know, till the D-Day. Meaning that she will not be spending the night till your wedding night. Something like that. Hmm. That's nice. So that means I can sneak in to spend more time with you. Where will you tell her that you'll be going? There are so many places to tell her that I can go to. I can go to the church. I have a lot of places I can tell. And she will not suspect me. That's the most beautiful part of it. <laughs> You're just a bad, good girl. Sorry. Good, bad girl. This is not the day I'm matter, no matter how you pray. If you know settle body, Wahala go day, you need some roll, roll, some romance, some ta ta ta, some touching. Anyhow we be, but you know one do. When body calling, you must answer. When your body's calling. You know. It's three days away to our wedding. So I think it's high time you got yourself a boyfriend. Yeah. A boyfriend? Yeah. I need a boyfriend, it's you I want. Of course you need a boyfriend, darling. Once I get married to your sister, there won't be any need for us to see each other again. I'm actually trying to know if my sister is going to allow me moving with her to, into your matrimonial home. But she's insisting that I stay here. She's even saying she's going to bring my brother out here to come and join me. Mm -hmm. She's doing the right thing, because me, I will not allow it. Yes. Okay, no, no, we can't. Maybe we 
coming to see me from time to time. That's if only your sister is aware that I'm coming. If not, I will not come. Are you trying to tell me that after your marriage, it is over between us? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is the time for you to get yourself a boyfriend. Okay? So I can concentrate on my marriage with your sister. I mean, there won't be any point of this hide and seek thing we are doing. It's not necessary. So, you have to get yourself a boyfriend. Okay? I have to be very faithful to my wife. Yeah. Once I go on that altar, that is it. Meanwhile, check your phone while we're making out. I think um, you're getting serious, of course. Check, that might be your sister. The phone has stopped drinking. Stop doing that. Right in your face. I just said the truth. That's the best thing for us to do. Check your phone. She's the one. She's been calling me. I said it. Let me call her back. Hello, sister. Good afternoon. Where did you leave your phone? I have been calling you. Um, sister, my phone was... My phone was in the kitchen. And I was in the sitting room watching the TV. Yes. Never mind, never mind. I'm, I'm almost home. Huh? You are almost home? Yes. No. Okay, okay, sister. Okay. Okay. Nothing where you can tell them 
something you're yeah. hungry yeah. you must scratch this scratch you but you know what do you must answer you must say yes nothing where you can tell them something you're yeah. hungry yeah. you must scratch this scratch you but you know what do you must answer Scent of a man. A man? Uh -huh. Me, sister. Oh no. It's not what you're thinking. I meant to ask, I mean, did Ken come here? Because I mean I can I can literally smell him. Oh, my God. Did you ask him to come here? Oh, you mean he didn't come here? I have not seen him yet. Too. His presence is so strong here, like I can literally smell him. Okay. Come on. God, what if I didn't remind that girl to check her phone? Rose would have cut us pants down. Hey, what could I have told my chief? That my wife to be caught me with her younger sister three days to our wedding. Hey, Jesus, I thank you. That shows that even in my unfaithfulness, you still love me. Thank you for saving me from this shame. your sister we could get caught and that would be the end of it we almost got caught two days ago why are you sounding as if i came here on my own accord my sister asked me to bring her things to your house oh. rose is not even helping matters at all yeah. that's because she trusts her younger sister so much trust let's just go in there and do whatever she asks you to come do here and run back to her Are you trying to get rid of me just like that? After all we shared? Shared? Whatever we shared was not meant to be. And that's the main reason we have to stop. We just have to stop. Sandy, mix it up. I want you to understand that I'm trying to tell you you have to take it easy. Sandy, you really have to be like this. I see for you I'm not human. 
Sandy, what we shared is illegal. The chances of jeopardizing my marriage with your sister are very high. Can't you see reasons with me? I knew it. I knew it. I knew you never loved me. I knew it that when you are done with me, you would just trash me out like a piece of shit. I knew you were just taking advantage of my weakness. How could you say a thing like that? Were you not the one that told me that you would not do anything to hurt your sister? Were you not the one that promised me that whatever thing we shared will not have effect in our marriage? Is that why you want to throw me out like a piece of shit? I am not throwing you out like a piece of shit. I'm only trying to make you understand that we need to do the right thing. We need to stop what we are doing. Fine. Fine. If you want to do the right thing, then just grant me this wish. Just one more night. And I promise you I will not disturb you again. That is not going to be possible. It's possible. We have fixed it and it's now working very well. I can even own it now for you to see. supposed to be playing this hide and seek on my wedding night. I should be with my wife now. I know, I know. See, I don't know what is wrong with me. I think I'm beginning to fall in love with you. Hey, you have, you have to be fast. I and mean, this is maybe the last one. I, I can't be doing this, please. It's okay. I, I know. Let's just make this one count. Make what count? You don't even feel anything. Hey, we have to be fast. I need to run back to my wife. <laughs> Where is my gift? What? Okay. Oh, the gift. It's in the wardrobe. I'll give it to you. I'm going to miss you so much. Listen, this is going to be the last. I can never try this again. I will arrange my best man for you. Joe. Joe is a very nice guy. Trust me. I already told him about you when he was bringing us back here. So, I believe he's going to treat you well. He's a nice man. Okay? But for you and I, it's over. I just did what I did because... I'm going to go further. Please. <laughs> Let's do semi last one. No, what is your problem? Mm -hmm. Don't you listen? What you mean, send me last one? Joe will give you everything. Okay? He's gonna treat you fine. That is who you need right now. I'm married. Don't forget that. To your sister. Last kiss. Hey. Last kiss. Uh uh. So. That was how it happened. I'm not trying to justify my actions. What I did was bad in the sight of God and that of men. I didn't intentionally go after your sister. It was circumstances beyond my control that brought us together. Please, Rose. Please. 
please. We have gone too far to quit. Please don't break this marriage. I'm deeply sorry for everything. I would have controlled myself. Please. Are you done talking now? I am my daughter, Rose. We all have heard him. We have heard the story. You contributed to this. The trust you had on your sister led you into giving your man an unnecessary platform to rule your marriage. Please, my daughter, to err is human, but to forgive is divine. Let bygone be bygone. From now, build your home with your eyes wide open. Trust no one. Biko, forgive him. Mom, how are you done talking? Yes. I believe you will listen to me. I am your mother. I carried you in my womb for nine good months. I breastfeed you. If you don't listen to me, who else will you do? Please, look at this young man. Have mercy. Find a place in your heart to forgive him. Forgive him. Sister, please. Please forgive me. I'm very sorry. Please forgive your husband too. It's not his fault. It's my fault. I, I load him into all this. Sister. I'm swearing to you in presence of everybody that any day I would think of such immoral act again. Eh? Let fire from heaven burn me to ashes. Sister, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry, sister. Are you done talking, Sandra? Yes, sister. Yes. Uche. Do you have anything to say? What will I say that is better than what has already been said? Please forgive her. Okay. 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 I've heard everybody. I mean, I've, I've heard you all. And yes, I, I lured you into this error. I did. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Sandra, I'm also sorry that I I trusted you beyond your abilities. Please find it in your heart. Forgive me. I honestly hold no grudges against you too. Like, no grudges at all. None whatsoever. Bearing in mind, Sandra, that as Mama lives for the village, you live with her. And Ken. I can't. I can't be married to a man who slept with my kid sister countless times. I, I can't. And even though I've forgiven you, that stigma will always be there. I can't. For that reason, it's officially over between us. Rose, Rose, where are we going? Rose, come back here. Oh. Oh. It's officially over between us. Eh? What 
driving now? Tell me, what are you driving? What do you mean? So I killed there, there. Mugu. Go and learn how to drive, okay? Go and learn how to fool. No sense. Business man. No sense. What? You are a fool, okay? Ah. Say that again. <laughs> You're lucky, man. No, I am not lucky. I am blessed. Blessed are thou, Ken. <laughs> you see, I have prayed to God all my life to send me a perfect life partner. I pray to Almighty God to give me that woman that will give me peace of mind. I pray to him to give me that woman that I will go gray with. I pray to God to give me the love of my life, the woman after my heart. And God sent me Rose. Rose is that woman I call complete package. She has everything I need in a woman and even more. Now tell me, Joe, am I not blessed? I'm not disputing the fact. But you see, in as much as I, I'm happy for you, I still do not want you to dwell in deception. What do you mean dwell in deception? Yes. Like you said, she is a total package. But I want to tell you something. There are a million and one roses everywhere. Even, even better than the rose you're talking about. Lies. Do you know what I've passed through in the hands of women? You have no idea. There is no woman like Rose in this world. Yes. But are you trying to tell me if this marriage crashes, if it did not work, you remain unmarried all your life? Or possibly you, you remain single because you did not marry Rose? When there are millions of roses everywhere, beautiful roses. I don't get it. Take this off. Yeah. Here. Okay, perfect. I, I just... Um, I just told you to clean off that nonsense you just said now. Right? Complete madman. You are a madman. There is no one like Rose. And there is no way anything will happen to our relationship. My relationship with Rose is for better and for worse. You better don't say that. Without Rose, I'm not sure I can survive, bro. I'm not dissuading you, but I'm just trying to be real here, you know? When you talk too much about a woman like... Your life depends on her. Yeah, because I know her. Please, I need you to come to the house now. Thank you. 
how did it go? Did she accept your apology? Not sure I can. I can ever survive this. You can. Hmm? You can't, don't talk like that. You can survive it. So what did she say? I ruined my marriage with my own hands. She said she has forgiven me, but will never have anything to do with a man that slept with her sister countless times. This is too much to bear. Okay. Take it easy on yourself, okay? Mm, take it easy. Like I told you the other day, stop living in a life of fantasy. There are thousands of roses out there. Just pull yourself together and you'll be fine. Believe me. There's no one like my rose. No one. Ken, trust me. This is not the end of the world. You might even find someone much better than Rose. Cheer up, man. Pull yourself together. Let's, let's go hang out. I want to take you out. Hmm? Let me spoil you lavishly. Hey! Can you continue like this? Come on, come on, yeah? Let's, let's go have fun. That would even help. I mean, you would you offload your head now, eh? Too many thoughts in the head. Ken? Ken? Was on silent. I was inside charging it. Hey, no, I was at the back only. I did. I did not knock. Oh, I was trying to avoid disturbing him. Okay. Yes, yes. I've given it to him. I'm on my way home now. Okay, sister. Okay. Oh, bye, bye. Oh. Bye. Hi, Sammy. Hi Sandy, how are you? I'm okay. How are yeah, you? I'm fine. I was behind you in the church the other day, but when I could come out, you were gone. Oh, I had something I needed to do in the house, so I wow. left in a hurry. Nice one. So what are you doing here? Hmm? What are you doing here? Uh, this place is my brother-in-law's house now, the man that wants to marry my sister. That's very good. Nice one. Wow. So would you mind if I have your number? Hey, how many times should I give you my number? I thought I gave you in the last church conference. I'm sorry. I've called you two times, but you didn't pick. Besides, I lost my phone. I just got a new phone. Don't mind me, huh? Just please, I, I, won't, I won't lose it this time around. Give me, let me just give you. You bought a new phone. Yeah. This one does not look like a new phone. <laughs> Take, if you like, lose this one again. No, I won't, I won't lose it again. Okay, thank you. I, I will give you a call. Ah, 
Alright, son. Mickey, what are you doing here? I, I have been calling you lying. I've been calling you phone, but you're not speaking. You keep ignoring my calls. Why? As what? You've been calling my phone as my boyfriend or as my husband. What is wrong with you? Mickey, I've told you countless times that we cannot have anything together. Can't you get that into your head? Eh? You think I don't know people like you? You're looking for somebody to have an affair with and run away, Abby? See. And what makes you think I will not get married to you? Eh? I really want you. Did I, Sandra, tell you that I want to get married to you? Neither do I want to have an affair with you, Sandy. Understand what I'm saying? Sandy, all I want is your heart. I really want a serious relationship with you. I want something very serious with you. That's it. <laughs> Are you not a confused woman, babe? You do not want to have an affair with me. Yet you want something serious with me. What is wrong with you, Mickey? You are just a confused person. Sandy, you know I really love you. I really want to be with you. I, I am not just saying all this to you know make you feel as if I'm lying to you. What I'm telling you is reality. I want to be with you. Serious relationship? Yes. With this your one-sided earring. So I should be in a serious relationship with you that is not even serious with yourself. See your ne China poppy necklace they are putting on. Please, I beg you. Let me know you sort you this afternoon. Pack your things and just leave my sister's house. I'm begging you. See, don't knock on this door again, no. Because if my sister comes, you won't like it. Don't knock on this door again. What it be like a child when no get to break you? When he begin move to stop him now, your head they go there to wang, your neck to walk to go there hang. But they know they argument you, but they know one know. <clears throat> My daughter, I would have come, but I decided to call you so we can talk about it. Yes. Mama, Mama, please. If it's about how much the cat kiss wants me to marry his son, count me out. I am not interested. Huh? huh? No. It's far from that. I had a dream. And it has to do with you and your sister. Did anything happen to us in the dream? Not really, my dear. But you have to pray so that what I saw in that dream will not happen. Mama, what did you see in the dream? <sighs> My daughter, in that dream, it was your sister's wedding day. But you are the one wearing the wedding gown. And your sister sat afar, crying. God forbid. God forbid. You know my dream. God forbid. Hey, Mama, did you see who I was getting married to? No, I did not see any man. But my daughter, I beg you in the name of God, whatever that will bring problem, quarrel or fight between you and your sister, avoid it. Be careful. I've heard you, Mama. I'll be very careful. I will not allow anything to come between me and my sister. Promise me. I promise you. Cross your heart. Yes. I cross my heart. Good. You know I'm always afraid of my dream. Thank you. You say you don't want to eat anything. I'm watching my weight, Mama. I told you I want the cheapest meat dress to fit me well. Hmm. You and your fashion. And that is why you cannot eat. You no longer eat the way you used to swallow my food. Sandy. Hey, I don't know if you to eat it. I don't know if you want to Please, you've heard me, eh? Thank you.
Was she talking about Ken and I? I have to be careful. Mama's dreams come to pass. I will not call you my in-law until I am done with you. Hey, I came to see Mama. She's fine. Eh? What did you say? Ha! We need to look for something to tell my sister. Else she will not allow me to come. Maybe you should tell her that uh, I need to come and sign a guarantor form for you or something. Mm -hmm. That's the only wish you allow me. Okay, I have to go. Mama is around the corner. I don't know where she is. Okay, bye. Bye. This is not a prayer matter, no matter how you pray. If you know certain nobody, Wahala go there, you need some roro, some romance, some ta ta ta, some touching. Anyhow it be, but you know one know. When your body's calling, you must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them something they hungry. You must scratch this, scratch you. But you know what? Scratch it, scratch it. You must answer. Body calling, you must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them something they hungry. You must scratch this, scratch you. But you know what? It's not easy to hold body. You must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them something they hungry. You must scratch this, scratch you. Body no one do. Right. Yeah. Bye. So hold on. You mean you don't want to have a date with me? A date with you? As what? As a new found bosom friend. Even the priest is away. Well, sorry. I don't go out on a date. I'm a born again Christian. So I don't do boyfriends. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not a pagan either. I. I, I don't know, I really am serious about you. I care about you from the depth of my heart. And I want us to align and be man and woman. Sorry to bust your bubble. I don't do boyfriends. I'm a born again Christian. Yes, I abstain from anything that will cause problem between me and God. Because God is too faithful to me. So this is what I want to do for him, to keep myself to marriage. So I'm keeping myself from my husband. I'm so sorry. I understand. I mean, you want to keep your faith. I'm not disputing the fact. I believe in God too. And I'm sincere here. For real, I, I, I'm not coming to play with your heart. Okay? I want to protect your heart. I want to keep it. I'm sorry. I cannot go out with you. Like I said before, I'm keeping myself from my husband. I'm a born again Christian. I am very, very strong with my faith. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the ride. God bless you. Remain blessed. Bye. Wow. Born again Christian. Kakwa Jim Jim. How? I'm real. And I know God will touch your heart. Because I know I love you so much. I won't give up. I won't give up. Real. Give up. 
In the church and the wedding reception. You will not sleep here this night. Mama, I am the lead vocalist in the choir. Without me, they will be singing la lulu, la lulu. It won't make sense. And the choir master will be disappointed. I'm the only one that can coordinate them. <sighs> My daughter, did you tell your brother? Uchi. Mm. I told him I knocked in his room and told him that I'm going to choir areas. If not, that is church program. I will not allow you to step out this night. Uh uh. My daughter, I am only concerned. You need to rest. You need to sleep. It's too much. Mama, I understand. Even me, I am tired. I am tired here. But these are the little things I can do for God. Eh? If I say I love God, I must sacrifice. Eh? If I don't sacrifice, how will I show my love for God? No problem. Jisike, oh? Oh. My prayer is that God will not leave you empty-handed. Amen. God will bless you. Amen. He will give you a man that will love and cherish you. Amen. Amen. Okay. Go well, eh? Hmm. God, may you protect how? Thank you. I so much love that cup when I checked into this hotel. Why would you not like them? They are the perfect fit. You, you could have been married if you had reduced this. I beg you, relax, Joe. Can't you see? Fair and black. That's mm. how it's supposed to be now. Mm. Eh? The man is fair, the woman is black. Mm. That's how it's supposed to be now. The keys, the keys. Eh? What keys? What key? Oh, sorry, I didn't even know it's you. Sorry, sorry. When your body calling. You must answer. He be like, say, buddy, want something. Oh. You must say yes. Is that not the cheap price, me? Eh? Uh -huh. That was all now. <sighs> I don't understand. You don't understand? Judge Bush, bring your ear. We have fixed it and it's now working very well. I can even own it now for me to see. When he begin move to stop him now, your head the go de to wang, your let the work go de hang. Body no de argument you, body no one know. You can leave now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See, normally I'm not supposed to be playing this hide and seek on my wedding night. 
I should be with my wife now. I know, I know. See, I don't know what is wrong with me. I think I'm beginning to fall in love with you. Hey, no. You have to be fast and this may be the last one. I, I can't be doing this, please. It's okay. I, I know. Let's just make this one count. Make what count? You don't even feel anything. Yes, you know. mm -hmm. Hey, we have to be fast. I need to run back to my wife. <laughs> Where is my gift? What? Okay. Oh, the gift. It's in the wardrobe. I'll give it to you. Where are they? Uche! Where are they? Uche! Sister, come and go. Bring my man Sandy. Come and go. Mama, the driver is outside. You get into the car so that it's not be late. Come and go. Why are you crying? Eh? If I hear him, if I hear him again from your mouth, she said she doesn't want you in her house. Is that why you are crying? Your father has a house. We have six rooms and parlor. We are not living in the bush. Let us go. Yes, Mama. You Let us leave our house for her. Come and leave. Hey! Mama, let's go. Ah! I'll find a way back to this city and I'll come with Sandra. No one should play for us yet. Mama, let us go. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. I said, get outside. Go! Yes. I, I will slap you now. Don't touch me. Rose, eat your house. Rose, don't touch me. Rose, go outside. You see this, your unforgiving heart. You will surely regret it. You will regret it. I will not regret it, Mama. Yes, we are going. Take Mama, Mama, let us go. Mama, let us go. Let us go. Don't touch him again. Don't touch him again. Don't touch him again. Go! Don't touch him again. 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 Don't touch is peace. I, I just want peace of mind. Like, I don't want anybody around. I just want me, myself, and I in peace. But you brought this upon yourself. I can remember telling you this. I even told you I caught your sister. But you choose not to believe me, saying she's Holy Mary, mother of what? The truth is that these things would have been avoided if you had opened your eyes well. Yes, yes, yes. I, I have learned the hard way. Listen, Jenny, I forgive them. Even Ken. Ken is a good man with a good heart. I mean, I can't be enemies with him because our marriage didn't work out. If I see him tomorrow, I'll still greet him. But I want something better. I mean, we just can't be together as man and wife. It can't, can't work. It's your life and it's your choice. But believe me, a bed at hand is what turn in the bush. Ken is a good man. There are other people out there, other guys out there that are not as good as Ken, but they cheat on their wives. I'm only saying this because I'm concerned about who you will end your life with tomorrow. I do not find somebody I like or someone who fits into my criteria. I remain single. Better still get pregnant-ish, have a child, and take care of myself and my child. That I'm certain I'm capable of. You're not serious. I am. I am. Mazi, good afternoon. How are you? No, I am not fine. My all is not well at all with me. At all. What is the problem? Nay, I don't even know where to start. Sandra has killed me. Ah, what did she do? Nay, it's not something that we can stand and discuss. 
Let's go to my house and discuss it. Okay, let's go. To my house. It's better. Hi. Hey. Hi. That was what happened. Hmm. Children of nowadays. They are not disgusted at doing evil. They wear evil on their fingers like a ring. Where is she right now? She's at home. She has been crying. She feels so sorry. I'm not talking about Sandy. I'm talking about Rose. <sighs> My Rose. As I'm talking to you, Rose is no longer in her husband's house. This is serious. Tell Sandy to come and see me. Nay, I will do that. But all I want you to help me do is to beg Rose, at least to take her man back. Before people start talking, Nay, do you know that I almost knelt down for Rose? I pleaded with her to forgive that young man, but she refused. You feel it's as easy as you think. It's difficult to find a woman who will accept such a man after what happened between him and her sister. But now I don't want this to continue. People will laugh at me. People will make mockery of me. I don't know where to hide my face. Please help me. Tell Sandy to come and see me. I will do just that. Just please, me. thank you. You're thank welcome. you so much. You're Nay, please help me. I will. Hmm. I have to be on my way. Okay. Thank you so much once again. You're welcome. Nay, please. I will. I will. Hmm. Why did you allow the devil to use you to rob more than the face of our family just like that? Where is your self-respect? How could you? How could you? Uncle. Uncle, how I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I would gladly do it. I I never I never knew what I was doing, Uncle. I allowed my emotions to control me. It was lack of exposure that did this to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, I'm not here to judge you. But I suggest you write a test to your sister asking for forgiveness. No. I'll go to her house tomorrow or less and I'll talk with her. Uncle, you go to her and, to, and talk to her. Thank you. Thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. What are families for? Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Uncle. My one family, you should treat her this as one. <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Uh, I came to see her. I'm sorry, she's not in. How can you say she's not in? I saw her in the car while I was sitting at the bar outside. Uncle, I'm sorry. She's not the person you saw. She's not in. Do you mean she's not the one I saw? Okay, let me wait for her. 
I'm about to step out. Please. Who traveled to PH this morning? Okay, let, her, let, her, let, let me call her. Uncle, please, you can make the call outside. Ha, are you stopping me from seeing my niece? Uncle, I'm not stopping you. Please, you can make the call outside. Is this how you will be having the township? Please, you can call her outside. I knew she was inside and she was hearing us. I called, but her phone was switched off. I am still surprised that my daughter Rose is still angry up till now. It baffles me. I believe when her anger subsides, she will certainly forgive. <sighs> Mazi, I can't wait to see all this whole thing over. I would be the happiest woman on earth. It will certainly be over. You people have tried for me so much. I'm grateful. It's okay. You're welcome. I have to be on my way now. My regards to your family. Yeah. What can I say? Just take it easy. Hmm? I will, though. I'll show you. I will. Everything will be all right. That's the challenge, Papa. I have apologized to her. I have even spoken to our pastor to help me plead with her. But she won't forgive me. I don't know what else to do. Ken, Ken, Ken. Why would you do a thing like that? Eh? Why would you do a thing like that? You were keeping your wife while committing abomination with her own blood. Papa. Her own blood. Papa. No, no, hold on. Who were you keeping your wife for? For who? Papa, I know. If I tell you I'm not ashamed of what I did, then I'm a very big liar. I am ashamed of what I did. It's uncalled for. Just help me talk to her, please, Papa. I don't want to lose my wife. Please. Please. What I did is wrong. And the face of God and that of men is wrong. Where do I start from? No, when I get there, where do I start from? How do I begin to talk to them? From where? You can tell them that what I did is abominable. Just, 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 just tell them. Tell them I did wrong. And just, please, please, Papa, please. Please, I don't know what else to say, please. Uh, I need my wife back, please. You give me that address to our house. I can go with you. No, no, no there's no need for that. Hmm? Just give me that address to our house. I will go alone. Let me see how I can sort this problem out. I mean, there's no problem without a solution. I know that uh, somehow, somehow, somehow we can sort it out. Though it's, it's uh, oh no. Papa, Papa, please. Please. It's okay. It's please. It's okay. Anything to bring my wife back, please. Please. Be cool. It's okay. Don't worry. Hmm? Don't worry. Everything will be all right. Hmm? Let me see what I can do. I'm sure there is something, somehow. Hmm? There must be a way out. Don't worry. Hmm? Don't worry. I will do what I can. Let me see you anyway. Good morning, sir. Good 
Hello, good morning, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine. Can I help you, sir? I am looking for Rose. I believe this is where she lives. She doesn't live here anymore. Where did she park to? I don't know, sir. I don't know. But how can I look at her office? I don't know her office. Just call her on phone. I've been calling her on phone, but uh, her phone has been switched off for quite some time now. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Hi. Uh, hold on. You look like uh, someone I saw on her wedding day. Papa, call her on phone. Call her on phone. But uh, is there no way you can help I'm me? I'm sorry, too? I can't help you, Papa. But, but uh, hold on. I went to her place and I met a young lady and I was told Rose was parked out of the place. Hmm. That's not true. She lives there. I, I even saw her yesterday. Okay. I'll visit her home. I will talk to one or two others. They will help me. I'm sure something must be worked out. This problem has to be solved. I can go with you if you don't mind. There's no need for that. No, no need. I think I can handle this. You see, well, that is why I have come. To lend my voice to the plethora of voices asking for forgiveness. I've talked to my daughter, but she refused to listen to me. She refused to forgive that young man. <laughs> did you know what my daughter did to me? She sent me out of her house and asked me not to return again. <sighs> That is serious. Very serious. Uh, but, excuse me, is there no elder in the family that I can talk to? Yes. There is. Mazi, of course. But Mazi has tried his possible best, but my daughter did not listen to him. My daughter just took after her father. Unforgiven hearts. Unforgiven nature. Okay. No happens. I will go and see Mazi. Let me see him and discuss this matter with him. I'm sure uh, we may arrive at something that will help us. I will see him first. Hmm. I can't wait to see that all this whole thing come to pass for good. I can't wait. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's alright. Okay. Thank you. That must be the lady I met when I got there. The fact is that she does not want to see anybody. You see, there must be a way out of this. Yeah? My son is so remorseful about what he did. He's very sorry. Eh? So I've come to you. You can use the kinsman to draw her back. 
so I will can talk to her. We can discuss with her. Eh? You can do that. I have always tried to avoid issues like this. How this one got to be, I don't know. Mazi, see, it is only death that has no remedy. Every other issue or problem in life has remedies. That's why I've come to you. Please, please help me. Help me. Let's find the solution to this. Please. I'm begging you. Please. Please. Okay. I know what to do. I have to call you back another day. Hmm? Okay. Um, okay. You said you don't want cola. <laughs> leave it for another day. Uh, don't worry. Maz, leave the cola for another day. Eh? Okay. Uh, let me go. Um. Please, don't forget to call me back. I'm expecting your call. I'll show you. From now on, I'll be expecting your call. Please. Sure. Don't have my hopes. Sure. Please. I'm backing on you. Please. You're welcome. I know it's the wrong thing to carry about, but I had to. That's why I've come to see you. Terrible. This must be the reason Sandy came to see me yesterday, but I was too busy to attend to her. Sandy is a shadow of herself now. So where's your in-law now? He's in the house in the village. Why is he not doing anything to reconcile with his wife? He has tried, according to Sandy. But Rose has refused to listen or to forgive. Do you know I went to see her? But she asked her friend not to let me in. This is bad. In that case, you will tell Sandy to see me tomorrow after morning mass, okay? Yes, I will. Thank you, Father. You're on my way. It's okay, it's okay. Take care of yourself. Okay, thank you. Can you when you're cool like this, man? Yo, Ken. Let me show you something that'll bust your bubble. Come on, check. Check that axe out, man. Check the AKB. Come on, look at Look at her, look at her, look at her boobos, man. That chin. Correct B, man. You say, Ken, I, I have a number two. But I don't want to call her now because we're just getting to know each other. I don't want to bother around. Because I still do, I still do observe her. I could be, we not like her. I'm not interested. You care for more drinks? I'm fine. Ah. Okay, maybe call for barbecue ones. Hmm? At least that could that would do. <sighs> no, 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 don't worry, I'm fine. I'm okay. Ah. I'm fine. The picture I showed you, you didn't say anything. Barbecue, you're still fine. I'm what's going on now. I don't understand you again. Yeah? What's it? <clears throat> Cheer up now, come on. Trouble will be finish. Well, I'm a Luther continua.
Why didn't I tell him that we are still married? Why didn't I just give him a hug and then we continue from where we stopped? I mean, it wasn't entirely his fault. I contributed to this mess too. Let me call him and tell him I'm still his wife. Yes, I love him so much. It's late. First thing in the morning, I'll call him. He's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I can't, I can't lose him like that. I'm sorry, forgive me for no time sake. You have the right to be angry with me.
awake by now. He's not a deep sleeper. Uh, hello? Joe, good morning. Yeah, Rose, how are you? Um, not very fine. I've been trying to reach my husband and I can't reach him. Really? Yes. Do you, do you know if he's okay? I mean... It's okay. It's okay. Let me, let me try it myself. Okay. Hello, Joe, I'm here. I don't know, is it Ken was in a very terrible state of mind yesterday. But I did everything possible to, I mean, bring him back to his normal self. And he gave me his words that he was fine. I'm surprised he's not picking my calls. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'm driving right away to his house, okay? I don't think everything is well with him. Yeah, just put yourself together, okay? Jesus, Jesus. Thank you very much, Joe. I'm going to. I'll, I'll get back to you. All right, so then. right now 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 if it just come now Jesus 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 oh came to me when I have lost hope in woman, thinking that none could be my desire in a woman. It became the best thing that happened to me. My world took a brand new dimension. Now that I have ruined everything, now that I have destroyed my own world with my own hands, where do I live again? It's better I sleep and never wake up. That's why I took over those of the sleeping pills. Why you read this? Just know that the few months it lasted, you were the best thing that ever happened in my lifetime. I love you, Rose, even in death. No, 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 we what have to it, get him to a hospital. He took an overdose of sleeping pills. Oh my God. Get him up, Ken! Sule! Come to Come to Ken! I mean, come to Ah, uh, doctor. So what's next? Um, his coma and his chances of survival are very, very slim. Yes. But however, 
we had to place it on an artificial oxygen tank. And this is how it goes. Nice you. you just have to come back. Okay, don't be too hard on yourself. I just don't know. You need to relax, Rose. Relax. It's not over yet. It's going to be fine. Let's go home. We can continue tomorrow. Go home? And leave him here with who? But the nurses are here. They will take care of him. You've not showered. You've not even eaten. You can come back tomorrow. There's no way I'm leaving my husband here alone, Juliet. Please. You need to eat, Rose. You need to eat. Freshen up and we come back tomorrow. That's not an option. Forgive me for everything I've done. Forgive me for every single mistake, whether I know of it or not. Please. Please, God, save my husband's life. Don't let him die. Please. I promise you, God, if you save my husband's life, I'll serve you for eternity. Please save my husband's life. It's eternity. Please, God. Don't let anything happen to him. Please. 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 I'll never forgive myself. I was upset, but I... I love you and... I'm not upset enough to... watch you lose this fight or die. Oh my God. It's three days now. We have changed. you continue spending your money. You need to join me to the office so that you can sign the necessary documents. What, what are we signing? What? You see, I have seen people wait for their loved ones. After three days, the patient doesn't come back to life. Forget it. It won't work unless a miracle happens. No, no, no. He's been here only three days. You have to give him some more days to monitor him and, and see what happens. I mean, they're like... Mother, from experience, it will not work. Unless a miracle happens. That's all. So you need to follow me to the office and sign the necessary. Did you see it? 
Wait. You saw it, right? Did you see it, doctor? You saw? Yeah. You saw it? Yeah. Did you see it? Yes. He moved his eyes. You saw it. Did you see it? You saw it? Yes, ma'am. He just moved. He moved. He moved. It's a miracle. Mother, you have to come. Just come down. Did you see it? Ah, mother, yes, yes, I, I did, yes. Uh, come down, you just uh, let him rest. Yes, yes, just let him rest. It's, it's a miracle. I will, I will be back. Say yes, sir. Nothing will 